IP addresses can be used to identify computer or computing device uniquely inside a network. There are two types of IP addresses. Look at here. Uh, there are uh, those are IP4 and IPv6. Now IPv4 addresses are using 32-bit to represent the addresses, and IPv6 uses 128 bit to represent the addresses so according to our syllabus uh, I'm going to discuss about IPv4 addresses now uh, as I told earlier there are 32 bits for IPv4 addresses so it is uh, separated into four portions and each portion has 8 bits now we'll see what is the value that can have if all are zeros or all are ones. Now I have mentioned here if all are zeros the decimal value is zero. If all are ones decimal value is 255. That means each portion can have value between 0 to 255. Now look at this example of our IP address 192.168.10.5. Now it's a valid IP address. Now if I take 192.168.10.5 10.5 it is not a valid IP address why because it has 259 that is 259 it is not the it's not uh, between 0 to 255 okay now we'll see how to find class for an IP address with the first portion of the IP address either it can be decimal or binary we can tell the class of it look at this table class A now if you take class A if the first portion value between 1 and 126 1 to 126 or binary value is starting with 0 and the rest of that can be either 0 1 that is in class A if the decimal value between 128 and 191 it is class B or we can tell the binary value should be start with 1 and 0 and the rest of that that is uh, other 6 bit can be either 1 or 0 if it is uh, the decimal value if the decimal value is between uh, 192 and 223 it is called class C the binary value should start with 110 one, then rest of that can be either 1 or 0 if you take uh, class D that is starting with 224 and uh, ending with 239 the binary pattern can be 1110 and rest of them can be either 1 or 0 so that is class D if the decimal value between 240 and 255 that is class E so binary pattern can be starting with one, uh, 4 ones and 0 then rest of 3 bits can be either 1 or 0 now look at this example 52.40.3.2 that is class A because this 52 is belongs to one between 1 and 126 so we can tell it's a class A address so next one is starting with 1 and 150 so it is class B so next one is starting with 193 it is class C 
so class uh, D and E are not uh, using for these uh, normal purposes now class D is using for multicasting and class E is reserved reserved addresses are there so we are not using for them for the general purposes now when we take a uh, number of bits in IP addresses I told there are 32 bits for IPv4 addresses and uh, each portion has 8 bits so with this uh, bit pattern these bits can be uh, divided either network bits or host bits number of network and host bits depend on their relevant classes now see this example if you take class A address uh, out of 32 bit there are 8 bit for the network and 24 bit for the host that means one portion of network and uh, three portion for host if it is class B there are two portions for network and two portions for host that means 16 bit for the network and 16 bit for the host if you take class C there are three portion for network and one portion for host that means 24 bits for the network and 8 bit for the host next we have network mask so network mask uh, can have for each and every IP address to find out the network mask we have to put ones for network bits and zero for host bits now I discussed each network has how many uh, network portion and host portion earlier if you take class A we have one network portion and three host portion that means if you take uh, a, uh, one, uh, 8 bit for the network and 24 bits for the host if you put once for the network part we get 255 that 255 then host part we have to put 0 so 24 zeros I had put like this uh, example so we are getting decimal value 0 so I can tell for the class A network mask is 255.0.0.0 if you take class B we have two network portions and two host portions according to that if you take uh, if you put ones for the network and host for the uh, zeros for the host we have 255.255.0.0 that means class B network mass is 255.255.0.0 for the class C we have three network portions and one host portion that means we had put ones for the networks zeros for the host then we have the mask for the class C is 255.255.255.0 now look at the following example 195.10.1.3 so we can for, for, from the first first portion we can tell this is a class C because of the class C we know that we have three network portions and one host so because of that we can tell the mask is 255.255.255.0 now we will see how to find network address and broadcast address for a given IP address network address is the first address of the network broadcast address is the last address of the network now it is used for addressing all the net nodes in the network at the same time okay we'll find out the network address for this IP address I have taken a example IP address 192.168.10.5 then we can tell that now we know how to find the mass if uh, it is a class C so we can tell the mass 255.255.255.0 now we have to convert both IP address and mask into the binary I have mentioned here then using this 
binary patterns we have to use and logic simply and get and get the output like this so the and get you know one one become one that's output one others are zeros then we when you convert it to decimal you are getting the network address of this given IP address is 192.168.10.0 now we'll find out broadcast address for the above IP address like earlier we have to convert IP and the mass to the binary then invert the bits of mask that means 0 become 1 and 1 become 0 then that resultant bit from the IP address should follow the O logic simply O gate that means 0 0 only 0 as output of the for the logic uh, O gate others become 1's then you get the result like this then the broadcast address in a decimal we can tell 192.168.10.255 so that means for the above 192.168.10.5 IP address the network address is 192.168.10.0 broadcast address is 192.168.10.255 look at the following example also okay we are going to discuss submitting with the next video I have put some uh, question related to this lesson below there's a kind of a game you can click and do it again and again if you have no, any problem you can mention here please subscribe my channel good luck